twice so bold. Black eels have shown us the way. Sister, my best friend, my G, I'm a charge. I mean, I'm gonna sell you out in your body. Go best friend. Yeah, that's my best friend. Go best uh, friend. I don't know what to wear, girl. This one is. Which one looks like a Monday vibe? See, that's oh, Monday. You can wear that. So, she looks like a Monday outfit. Should I go with this one? I don't know which one like a Monday vibe at all. Oh, I, I, my people, I. Okay, so this entire month is Black History Month. As you guys know, we're in February. And this week at school, we're having Black Culture Week, right? So we're supposed to wear like African print, you know, Jamaican stuff. So that represents your culture uh, and Black culture. So I want to know which outfit look like a Monday outfit that I should wear today. But I'm kind of stumped because I don't know which one it says. Uh, black culture will also say Monday, also say business life. So I'm looking at my outfit and I can't really tell which one I like the most or which one I want to wear the most that says me, but black culture as well. Okay, I want to let you guys do a few things first. As in, black culture or black history starts way before slavery because we have like the Moise, Egypt, we have Timbuktu, you know, the oldest university known but us is a black university or a black school in the old days. So, and that is in Africa. So, black culture started way before Ethiopia, Eli Selassie, the black empire. You know, he had an entire empire dedicated to black people and he was a black man that was ruler at that time. So, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff about black history and black culture way before slavery. Slavery is yet yeah, a part of it, but it wasn't always it, and black people weren't always um, slave to the dominance that we were slave in that time. So black culture started way before slavery, way before all of that. So we want to talk about black culture before, during slavery, and after slavery. Because even after slavery, black people were still doing stuff. We have black inventors, we have black pilots, we have so much black people doing so much thing that shape or modern society that we live in today and what i want to talk about at school today with some of my friends if i can get them out of their class is like who is their favorite black inventor and which black inventor do they like the most that shape what they want to be or shape what they look at society informed them today or what society is to them today because of that black inventor or that black person that went down in history my favorite black history person is Louise Bennett because you know she's a poet, she's an author, she's an actress. Um, she has put Jamaican language or patois or dialect on the map. So she's my favorite anything when it comes to Jamaican history, black history, anything. Miss Louise Bennett is my favorite because I want to do acting and I also want to do producing, but I also want to tell Jamaican culture to the world. As well, you know, leave my mark on the world with Jamaican society and Jamaican culture, just like Miss Louise Bennett did. And she's a hero to me, you know, she's a female who has done so much for Jamaica. So, yes, that is my black hero or my black hero or my black history person that I look up to. Anyway, I'm back to my outfit. I don't know what to wear, but I think I might wear between these two. So, those two I might wear. Anyway, I'm going to go get ready. I'm going to go in the shower and, you know, freshen, freshen up and all of that. So I'm going to do that right now. And then I'm going to show you my entire Black, Ilchi, Black History culture um, look for the entire week. Alright, so I'm going to show you my look that I'm going to wear today. Alright, I'm going to go to the bathroom now. is the look that I'm wearing as you can see I'm wearing a mesh marina and you know a dress of black blouse underneath it so this is my cultural look and I'm wearing a long black leggings with some rips in it right so yeah so basically this is the look that I'm wearing And then anyway, and I decided to go with a, I was going to go with my black bag. I decided to go with this one because it kind of looked a little classy. 
even though I doubt this can hold all my books. I might change it out to my black knapsack. So I doubt this can hold anything in it. Right, so I'm gonna put my books in it soon, but I'm just trying to look, so I think I'll go with this with it. Anyway, so I'm basically off to school now. Room right now because I heard that Cherry and Anson they're in the prop room so I'm heading there right now to ask them who's their favorite inventor or favorite hero that shaped black culture for them oh sorry as I said I changed my bag I'm wearing my knapsack right now because my book couldn't fit in that bag so yeah so I'm off to the prop room now yeah because I totally need somebody for fashion week yeah I'm down anytime oh, hi Cherry hi Anson what up Rose um, I came in, sorry to interrupt what you guys are doing. Um, I came in to ask you guys who is your favorite black history person and like who is your favorite hero or your favorite inventor? You can start, Terry. Well, mine is Madam CJ Walker because Rose, I love hair products and I love looking good and she's like the first African American black woman to create like hair products and all of that. Oh yeah, that's a good person too, yeah. And then she became like a millionaire and I'm all about the Benjamin, so yeah, Madam CJ Walker. Yeah, I like that person too. And well Rose, my black history, yeah for me it's George Steele. Like he's the first Jamaican black billionaire and yeah, Devin House is my place for dates, so yeah, George Steele is it for me. Yeah, I like that one too. Alright. Back to what you guys are doing. Bye. Okay, bye, Rose. Yeah, later. So, my people, this is my look number two. I'm excited to go all black today for day number two anyway as you can see i am wearing some woven hair almost like a basket almost like an african basket and i'm also wearing some triple beaded necklace choker around my neck as you guys can see and this is my second black culture look uh black like lots of beaded and mesh and beads here again. Basically sneakers with this, but yeah, this is it. 
this is the outfit for the fourth day. Black is the color of pride and strength, of resilience and beauty. It extends in the length from the struggle of slavery to the fight for rights. Black history is a story of courage with no end in sight. Black am I and black I should be till the day I die. Hear me, hear you. Black am I. Black I should be till the day I die. Harriet Tubman, Underground Railroad, to Martin Luther King Jr. Voice so bold. Black heroes have shown us the way as the legacy continue to this day. Black am I, and black I should be till the day I die. Let me hear you. Black am I, and black I should be till the day I die. We honor their memories and their sacrifice and strive to build a world that is just and nice. We're all people, regardless of race or you. Love all their life can do. Black am I. And black I should be till the day I die. Let me hear you. Black am I. And black I should be till the day I die. My name is Aqua. And thank you. guys I'm so exhausted today was a good day yeah today we had the cultural festival because it's Friday we usually keep stuff on Friday yes yeah, so we had the cultural festival on Friday and this is what I wore to the cultural festival today guys what do you think of it, it looks so cute this is my Jamaica Day bandana and yeah I'm gonna have to do the tie it because I'm gonna have to go all out to tell you um, Miss Lou is my favorite she wrote and I like to dress up for the parts of whatever I'm putting on because you know I'm part of the event planning board. So this is me dressing up. Oh yeah, and since Friday I don't really as I said in this previous vlog we don't really have class, so I just brought this bag. And I wanted to wear this bag all week. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna end the vlog right here and I'm gonna go change. So I see you guys.